across Arizona at risk of being surrendered if their owners lose their homes. That is why Arizona's leading animal welfare organizations are partnering up to form a pet housing task force. Well, this morning we're talking to Bretta Nelson, who is with one of those organizations. Good morning, Bretta. Uh, this, is, this is very serious because people often, it's important that people are losing their homes, but uh, one of the things that so many don't think about are the fact that where are these pets gonna go? Because you might be able to find a home, you might be able to move in with family, but you can't always take your pet. Exactly, you guys. Right now, we are really facing a potential crisis. And for about a year now, us and our animal welfare partners have formed a Pet Housing Help AZ Task Force for this eviction moratorium ending. And it is estimated that 2,000 to 5,000 pets each month could be impacted. And no matter how hard we all work together, Valley Shelters do not have the space for that many pets. So what this task force does is it offers a variety of resources, rehoming options, and temporary foster care for pet owners in crisis so that they can either keep their pets or rehome them on their own. Brother, you mentioned that uh, you know, you've kind of come up with a little bit of a safety net for these individuals. I mean, are, if there's folks watching at home that say, you know what, I've got some extra room in my house that I could maybe take uh, an extra dog or a cat. Are you looking for volunteers right now, Bretta? Absolutely. One of the critical components of this task force is an increase in our own foster care program. So here at the Arizona Humane Society, that is Project Home Away From Home, where we can take pets in for 60 to 90 days for people facing housing instability. Mm. Uh, they go into a foster home, they don't spend time in the shelter, they do get an evaluation before they go, and then we can reunite them when their pet parents find a new place to live. And I have to tell you guys, we have already placed so many pets in this program before this moratorium even ended and the reunions are just some of the best I have ever seen. Yeah and you know another issue is um, so many people won't leave their pets and that's why they end up homeless because uh, they don't want to give their animal up. They live on the street with their animal and, and this is also a great way to help them as well. You're exactly right, yeah. Oh, so we've partnered also with human health service agencies because of exactly that. People do not want to part ways for their pet. So if these human agencies can help the people, we can help the pet and get them back together. So the task force really is multifaceted. There are even resources in Spanish and English on pethousinghelpaz.org. So even if you need a bag of food or vet care or help in any of those realms, that's an option too. So we just want pet owners to know you don't have to make that difficult decision of choosing a place to live or your pet. There are resources out there so that you can have both. How do people help you guys? The biggest thing right now is all of our organizations, again, there are seven of us total, we're all looking for foster parents that can take in an own pet, again, for 60 to 90 days. For us at the Arizona Humane Society, you can visit azhumane.org slash foster, and anyone can visit pethousinghelpaz.org. There's a section that says, I want to help, and you can sign up to find foster pets right on that site and direct uh, connect directly with their pet parent, take them into your home, and then get them back together. So many people are asking during this pandemic, how can I help? And that is probably one of the best ways to do so. And Brett, is that the same website for folks that maybe need this service as well? Absolutely, yes. If you're a pet owner in need of help, pethousinghelpaz.org. I can't say it enough. There is a section that says I need help and that is where you're going to find all of the resources as well as a temporary foster platform for your pet. We'll be sure to put the link up on our website fox10phoenix.com. Thanks so much for what you're doing. We do appreciate it. I know a lot of people do.